The Trades House Glasgow Modern Apprentice Awards showcase the achievements of young people who have chosen the apprenticeship route to further their career prospects while promoting traditional trades alongside modern skills. It was in 1605 that 14 historic craft guilds united to form the Trades House of Glasgow, which established and maintained the apprenticeship system in the city in medieval times. The organisation continued to regulate apprenticeships for more than 200 years, transforming people into tradesmen and eventually masters of their chosen craft, ensuring high quality workmanship and customer service. When the Trades House established the Modern Apprentice of the Year Awards in 2006, it reinvigorated its efforts to promote the vocational and personal benefits that apprenticeships provide in training and development today. The awards are now rebranded as the Trades House Glasgow Modern Apprentice Awards. The 2017 winner will be selected from our eight finalists and presented with an inscribed trophy which will remain on display in the Trades Hall in Glasswood Street home to the Trades House since 1794. Corey Stewart, Connolly Security System. My role at CSS is um, mainly on the fire team, which is mainly preventive and corrective maintenance. I'll go and carry out servicing on fire alarms and any emergency calls. I enjoy it, I'm very passionate about my job. I feel that I bring to my workplace a friendly face, especially out in the community as well. I get a lot of people saying how nice it is to see a female in this industry and it puts them at ease. My work will tell you that I'm a bit of pain talking about training courses and coming in and saying I've been researching this and I think this is a good idea and these are good equipment and things like that. I had moved out at a young age and trying to find fit an apprenticeship in with that was very, very hard because obviously you're not in full-time employment, you are still part-time at college as well. That was very difficult but Conley's took everything on board and were nothing but supportive of that. It's important that we take it serious because we are taking on a great responsibility because people rely on us to keep their property safe and themselves safe. In the future I'd like to work my way up the ladder and within Conley security systems and I'd like to be involved in the training of helping other apprentices starting out. John McFarlane, Yes Works Limited. I work for Young Enterprise Scotland, which is a charity. Uh, my part of the charity is called Yes Works, so we're basically a landscaping team and we'll go out and do uh, like landscaping and gardening jobs. A lot of the work we do for Barhead Housing is people whose, whose gardens have been just like left in neglect for a bit, but um, when you go in and we'll do like uh, fresh stuff for them and uh, build all that up and that's really quite rewarding for them. I think uh, just a positive attitude goes a long way and uh, just a readiness to work hard and no gear up at stuff at the first bit of trouble, you know. But I didn't know anything about landscaping or horticulture um, when I first came in, I didn't, uh, never done anything like that or read anything about it, so I didn't have a clue. But over over the, the, the years that I've been here, uh, I've learned a good good wealth of knowledge about everything. I'd like to stick on the educational side of it a bit uh, and see if I can maybe do another year or two at college and learn a bit more. Just learn as much as I can and hopefully get into something, some maybe commercial growing or agriculture or something like that. Daniel Barr, PBR Services Limited. I'm a plasterer, I work for PBR building services and I mostly do external render on new build houses, occasionally plastering. There was other people who noticed my potential a lot sooner than I did. They knew I wanted a chance, they knew I deserved a chance and they gave me it and I'd taken it. And I, I couldn't have tried any harder. And then as soon as I'd been told, explained the stuff the right way, it was all good to a tea, it just basically all came natural. And if your work isn't top notch, then it'll be coming back half. I've just recently finished my apprenticeship, but I've basically saved up, funded the course myself in advanced craft level seven plastering. I do feel I've helped build my confidence and unlock my potential. My ambitions for the future are I'm going to be a college lecturer teaching plastering at South Lanarkshire College. I know there's, there's boys who haven't started college that want a chance and deserve a chance, but they can't get their chance. I want to be the person who goes and gives them that chance.
Danielle Smith, North Ayrshire Council. I am based at the Harbour Arts Centre in Irvine, where I work on the box office, getting through ticket purchases and updating the website, and I also curate exhibitions and give tours of the exhibitions. I'm a very sociable person, I get on well with all age groups, and I'm confident communicating with children, older people, and with the general public. I contribute through my work to the community by continuing to develop the Harbour Arts Centre and its programmes, especially for the children, which is giving back and making sure the people of North Ayrshire have a safe environment that's also really fun for people to enjoy. I bring a lot of fun and positivity to the workplace. I get on great with all staff across um, the council, not just my immediate team. And it's great to be part of something where everybody is always smiling and always happy. I put myself forward for deaf awareness training so that our organisation can benefit from these groups attending events that we are hosting. My ambition for the future is to be happy and to be doing a job that I love that is giving back to the local community. Jaspreet Rai, Arnold Clark. Hi, my name is Jaspreet Rai and I'm a newly qualified technician at a Harry Fairburn in Giffnook. Here we specialise in service, maintenance and repair of BMW vehicles. I always wanted to be a mechanic since as long as I can remember. And what I'd done was, I, after school I left to apply for apprenticeships. And I think it was a good few months and I didn't hear anything back. So I decided to take another route, which was through college. I gained my level two and level three. So after I gained that, I, was a, I, had, I had my qualification, but I never had the experience, the hands-on experience, so I found it really difficult to find a job. So for about a year and a half to two years, I was just out applying for jobs, coming in, working for free in backstreet garages, and just hoping that I would get a job. And some, some places would just say like, yeah, yeah, okay, right, we'll take you on, but I would never hear anything back from them again. So I came in for a week's work experience in Harry Fairburns, and I loved it. When I first started, I really had to like, prove myself and show, show them that I'm able to work on my own. So what we done was, well, basically, I would always I'd go up and ask for jobs. And I, can I try this job? Can I try that? And sometimes I'd be working with a mentor, and sometimes I'd be working myself. And from there, I just progressed and I just built confidence in myself. And I would also like, stay back late and work on sales cars. Then at the end of that week, I said, right, like, I, don't, I, don't want, I don't want to leave here. I, was, I want to stay here. They sent out a trainer from GTG and just to assess what kind of level I'm at and to see well, how good I am basically. I ended up getting offered a job then I came and started here working shortly after. At the moment I'm an entry level technician so I hope to progress on to becoming a BMW technician where I'll be going on the courses soon and I'll work my way up as a BMW recognised technician then on to a senior technician then I'll work my way up to the master technician. Matthew Cochran, Dusan Babcock. I'm currently designing electrical systems for Linemouth Power Station. So we get tasked by the client to say, for instance, it's cable routing, to say we've got power here, we need it over here. How do you get it there? Throughout everything, I've always liked to understand why things happen, why they work the way they do. So if I'm asked to do something, first I'll understand it, then I'll do the task, and then if I've got any problems, I'll, come, I'll happily go and talk to someone, talk to my boss, talk to one of my colleagues, just to so we'll get the task done correctly. I'll try and find the most efficient way to do the task. Um, and if there's other bits that sort of could be done better, I'll try and improve on that. Do a lot of coaching out with. I probably do about 10 to 15 hours a week um, coaching young people. I think that's really brought on my communication skills, so I understand how to talk to people. But I'm also a buddy to one of the younger apprentices, so when he's in the office, um, when he's not in college, we'll, um, we'll catch up and I'll see how he's getting on, so our, and work if he's got any problems. So it's just sort of like a mentor role just to make sure he's all right. Sometimes it's difficult to try and balance apprenticeship, like your studies, and actually completing the work that needs to be done for the company to meet goals. I'm trying to find that extra half hour, 20 minutes, wherever I can, just to study juggle that about. I think I've overcome that quite well because I'm getting quite high grades and stuff throughout my college year. The game plan is to finish my apprenticeship, get the time out of work to go to uni one day a week. I think it would be for four years, uh, potentially do a master's degree and then 
become chartered through sort of experience and time working in Doos and Babcock. Kieran McGuinness, BAE Systems PLC. My name is Kieran McGuinness um, and I work here at BAE Systems, um, situated in Govan at the moment, and I'm working towards an SPQ in marine engineering, doing fabrication steel work. And I work that we do, obviously you need, to be, you need to be safe, you always constantly need to be making sure that you're doing things right. Um, the quality of work has got to be good, you know, try to run obviously contracts at a massive scale with a massive deal of money for, for the company. Um, so, so you're always looking to, to try and be as best as you possibly can in what you do. As part of my personal development as well as you know working towards my modern apprenticeship framework, I, I do a lot of work um, with the Apprentice Council within the, the company. Um, I do that both locally and nationally, um, where I, you know, I represent maybe over 200 apprentices in you know, eight different disciplines, trades, as, uh, so to speak. And I basically you know, carry their view locally and take their issues to you know, a general meeting between people from various different trades. I also do a lot of STEM ambassador work, which is you know, science, technician, engineering and maths. Um, and that can be from you know, doing school visits or having school kids in here, or different, just trying to engage them with, with the kind of work that we do. As well as doing working in here full time, I play part time football. Um, and I think a lot of the attributes that I carry into the, you know, my workplace in here come from that, like teamwork and communication and all that come from that. Um, and I think it's definitely really benefited me in, in my workplace. I really enjoy working with this company and I enjoy the work that I do. And basically, I just, if I can have a job within this company for the rest of my life, it would be great. I mean, it's a great place to work and to the scale and, you know, the kind of things that we're doing. It really impacts your life, so to speak. Leanne McDowell, Alex Begg. I'm the team leader of post-production and I oversee that things are getting passed in good quality. There's the butterfly events for cancer research. We also do for local charities, Bernardo's, and there's a wee lockside church from a wee deprived area. It's just up the road. And they, to help out the kids, it means a lot. They let you come up with ideas and help. I mean, I could help any charity. We also do raffles at Christmas time, and it goes to, we put the names in a hat, whether it's Malcolm Sargent or any other local charities. It all stays local. You want to help the community. I'm now sitting at an ILM in management, a wee management course, and that's it's really good. I'm enjoying that. Also sitting a SMAS course in lean management. It helps me work with the flow of the department. Hopefully in the future, yeah, I'd like to be managing the department. Since I've won the Trade House Award, it's opened many doors for me. Um, looking into looking at further education in HNC and construction management, and I've also completed my advanced craft in painting decorating. I've also been put on courses in specialising in glass gilding and gold leafing. The benefits of this award has given me a real confidence boost, and it's also made more people in my company and out with my company recognise my talent and stuff that I'm capable of. Good luck to this year's nominees. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trades House Glasgow Modern Apprentice Awards 2017.